home. We're gonna excuse you, kitty. Hi, good morning, Vlogmas Day 5. I figured I'd start it right away so you guys can see how pretty I look in the mornings and hear how stuffed up I am right now. Uh, like I guess I'm not too stuffed up, but I never have a voice in the morning. when I get up <sighs> you guys you know when you take NyQuil and you just like you feel almost hungover or something I don't know how to describe it so I have these little kitchen towels that are like Christmassy and I think when you like open this whole one up it says Merry Christmas but I mean they kind of look you don't like display them when they're all opened up like that. It wouldn't fit anywhere. But they're cute, huh? They're not like the really soft kind though. Like, can you guys tell just by looking that they're like crunchy feeling? <laughs> so they're more just for decoration, I guess. Oh, hi! How pretty am I right now? You guys haven't seen me like this in a long time. Okay, so I'm gonna make some eggs. I've got my little pan and usually, um, I don't know, everybody makes eggs differently. I'm actually going to make an omelet today. I usually do like medium to high heat first and then um, I'll get some butter in there so the eggs don't stick. I don't like to use a lot of butter when Drew makes eggs. He uses like giant globs of butter but I try to make the most of it and like spread it around. Okay so I've got about one and a half yolks in there. I use three eggs but I only use like one full egg and then like a half of another egg and then just one with just the um, whites in it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and put my lid on. This is not a true like method of making an omelet, I know, by the way. Um, this is just my like cop out way of doing it or something. I don't know. Like I know you're supposed to just kind of move the eggs back and forth. Um, but I like to kind of like use um, the lid to sort of steam them a little bit, steam my eggs. Yeah, they're like already getting pretty cooked. So, I got my plate. Here's all of our plates and stuff. What do we think? I think that we're good to go. See how they're like, like that one right there, still a little shaky? I like that. I used to not. I used to want everything to be like solid. I don't know why my taste changed, probably because one day I accidentally did it and I ended up really liking it. Okay, so I've got my cheese here. Just gonna spread it. Use my fork. <laughs> this is hard to do while vlogging, you guys. I've never done this before. Oops. And just kind of flip it over. And I kind of let it um, melt in there. The hotness of the eggs should melt the cheese a little bit. I'm going to make myself some coffee. And here's my little Keurig. Um, it's like a one, it's like a personal Keurig or whatever. So you have to fill it up every time you use it. It doesn't have like the nice little reservoir on the side, which is fine. I like, this was a Christmas gift. I think it was like two years ago for my mom. It is not pretty by any means, but I, I don't make my food for it to be pretty, I guess. I'm not a chef. <laughs> and I love me some freshly ground pepper. In case you guys haven't noticed, I like things with some flavor and some spice. Um, I've got some water here, and then I've got my little coffee mug, and I drink coffee out of a straw, um, just to, so that I sort of limit the amount of coffee that gets on my teeth so I can prevent stains, and yeah, I don't have any cream or sugar in it, I'm, I'm a black coffee kind of girl. I just got my computer over here, and I'm editing yesterday's vlog, um, that will go up soon, and, um, <laughs> that's just me being a dork. And I will uh, probably watch some other Vlogmas videos, too, while I'm eating. That is the sound that our washing machine makes when it's done, and the same with our dryer. <laughs> Okay, so there was like a little bit of uh, pandemonium there for a minute, um, or like half an hour actually. So 
I should have mentioned this morning that pre-sale for Taylor Swift started today <coughs> at noon um, for the Omaha concert. And so I had told um, three of my girlfriends who we had all, like the ones who we had planned on going to the concert together, um, that I would go ahead and get the tickets and they could just like pay me back for them because everybody else was at work. And I was like, well, I have Fridays off. I'll just, I'll just take care of it. And let me just tell you, that was the worst experience I've ever had buying a ticket for something. Ticketmaster presale is apparently my worst enemy. <laughs> I would not wish that on anyone. Okay, so basically what happened was I, we had all decided that we didn't want to spend more than like $100 on a ticket because that's just, it's Taylor Swift, yes, but I've never spent more than that on any concert ever and I just think that's a little crazy. So um, what happened was like when you sign in, and you finally, it hits noon, and it's like, um, you pick a seat or whatever, or you pick what ticket price you want, it, like, makes you wait in line, and it makes you wait and wait and wait, and so when it finally pulls up, they give you only, like, two minutes to select whether or not you want that ticket, and then once you go ahead and hit select, they give you, I think it's, like, four minutes to check out and, like, purchase them. So the first one that came up was the absolute highest bowl, like upper bowl, but the highest section possible, halfway up in that section, for $109 a piece. I'm sorry, but I think that is an outrageous price. Like, I don't know. I guess maybe it's because a lot of Taylor Swift's fans are young, and so like their parents are probably buying these tickets for them so they can afford it, but I just thought that was outrageous. So I was actually texting my friend Kristen, who is like able to text at work and stuff, so that was helpful. So by the time this was, like during all of this texting back and forth, like Ticketmaster kicked me out. So I was forced to like go on again, and I had like three different windows open trying to load tickets, and I was like in line. And then Kristen's like, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and go on too. And she ended up finding lower bowl, like really good seats in the lower bowl for only 132. So think about that, 109 versus 132 for really good seats. Like like I said, we didn't want to spend more than 100, but it just is going to be end up being a way better deal for our money. <laughs> way, way, way better. So thank you to my friend Kristen for coming in clutch and taking care of that when I was the one who was supposed to do it. I'm a little embarrassed and I feel like I failed, but at least we got tickets and I'm so excited. And the concert's not until October in Omaha. I'm so bummed because last time she opened in Omaha. And so now we have to wait till October. I'm so sad. But I'm also so excited. And it'll be a fun little um, girls' day with all four of us going. Okay, and so now I'm going to go to my happy place, which is Michael's. So I'm going to get supplies for my winter banner and I think possibly a wreath. And then I'm going to go to Bed Bath & Beyond and do some Christmas shopping. So that is a little bit of an update for you. And I'll just bring you guys around for the ride. Hey, pretty kitty. <laughs> She's such a lover today. She's trying to climb onto my legs. Aw. You marking me? Oh, yeah, she loves a chin scratch. <laughs> Can you tell? Doesn't really look like she loves it. <laughs> um. Okay, so I got a big chunk of what I came for. Um, at Bed Bath & Beyond, I got, Drew doesn't watch my videos, um, so I can tell you, I got him a gift. Um, I got him a robe, and it's like this big, fuzzy, red, soft robe. And I got him a robe because he has always been wearing my robes, and it's hilarious because they don't fit him, so I thought that would be a good gift. We're at Michael's. Can you guys tell what kind of theme I'm doing for decorations this year? <laughs> Being in here is like, it just makes my heart happy. Look at all these garlands. 50% off. Pretty. I really like this one. And it's, it'll be like $8. It's not bad. I just would have to think about where to put it. Rax. Hi. Okay, so I got this wreath. Um, and it was half off of $7.99, so that's awesome. $3.99 for a wreath. Um, just like the regular kind of like Christmas seed tree. Oh, BRB. As I was saying before, I got interrupted by my husband calling me. <laughs> um, so I got this wreath, and I'm going to decorate it up with some things, but I'm just going to pull things out of the bag as they are 
as they are piled in there. So um, I got a few more ornaments for our tree because the ornaments I had were for, for like my tiny little tree so they don't quite fill it up. Or like I guess I should say, yeah, the ornaments don't fill up the tree. So I got a few more. They were all half off. Um, that's one of them. Here's another. Here's another one. And where's this? One more right here. If you guys cannot already tell, I'm doing a gold and silver themed holiday decoration scheme. Um, so these are all $4.99. They're all half off. So $2.99 for all these little guys. And then to decorate the wreath, I got this bow for $3.99. And I think that was also half off again. Okay, so then I got all these little things. I guess they're called picks. And they were all $149 a piece, but I think, let me check, I think they were all half off. Yep, they were all half off. So I got um, two of these that have like a gold and silver combo. I got these like gold, like uh, silver and gray ones, two of those, and then two just plain gold ones. So I'm just going to kind of wrap these around the wreath with this bow. I don't know. We'll see how it looks. It might be really ugly. Who knows? And then this thing I'm super excited about. This giant, which I showed you guys in the store, this giant silver sparkly garland leaf thing. And this was half off of $16.99, so it was only $8.99, I believe. Let me double, yep, or well, $8.49, I guess. Yes, and then one last thing. I went a little crazy, I'm not going to lie. I got this ornament. And what I want to do with this is make an ornament for Drew and I's first Christmas. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but... I, of course, will show you guys when I figure it out. And again, this was $2.99 and it was half off. So, oops. Um, oh, the last thing I got are these uh, pieces of felt. And they are white with that sparkle. I don't know if you're like, able to tell in the camera. But I got four of those. And they were each $0.99. Cents. But um, I, with the felt, I'm going to be making the banner. And I'm going to get some more supplies for the banner at my mom's studio tomorrow. Which, um... By the way, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, I'm going to her studio for um, an open house. So where her studio is is this big art center, and so they're having an open house, and my mom is going to be open as well. So that'll be fun. I'm going to help her set up with that and everything. You have to say hi. Hello. We're watching. It's a championship game, right? Yeah. And we're um, we're going to have some friends over. And I probably like won't. That wasn't a word. Any creepy faces today, Drew? What's that? Any creepy faces? <laughs> um, we're gonna have some friends over to watch some football, I guess, and just hang out and relax. And I probably won't vlog while they're here because they're not necessarily into the whole YouTube thing. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna say goodbye for now for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Peace, homies. Peace.